Hey Hermits, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dara and today I'm going to be telling you all about the books that I am desperate to read on Kindle Unlimited. So I have quite a few um, things that I've borrowed from Kindle Unlimited on my Kindle right now and I just thought it would be fun to like go back through some of those and talk about them a little bit because I have this habit of sort of borrowing things on a whim and then I kind of forget they're there so so today I'm going to be scrolling back and looking at everything that I currently have on loan from Kindle Unlimited and just give you a taste of what is available on there. Now I will say that things are not um, indefinitely available on Kindle Unlimited so I may mention some things that um, then when you go to look for them they're not on there but at the time of filming these are the things that I have borrowed from that service. So the first book I want to talk about is Evelyn After by Victoria Helen Stone and this is the story of a woman who gets a phone call in the middle of the night to let her know that her husband has been in an accident and he wasn't alone he was with a woman, a woman who not only was he having an affair with but she was also one of his patients and Evelyn has to protect this secret for some mysterious reasons that we are not aware of yet because we being me have not read the book yet but the reason that I picked this up is because I absolutely loved Jane Doe by the same author it was one of my very favorite books the year that I read it um so I just am eager to pick up anything that she writes in the future because I love her writing style, I love her female characters, I just know that I'm going to enjoy this book. Then we have Athena's Child by Hannah Lynn and this is a reimagining of the origin story of Medusa. Now I love a mythological retelling, I love a retelling of any kind to be honest, but I do love mythology and I've always felt drawn to Medusa's story just because I think it has been positioned with so much like male patriarchal bullshit surrounding it and so I'm looking forward to reading more of a feminist interpretation of her story because we know that it's a tragic story, we know that she was a victim in so many ways and she has been demonised throughout history so I'm really looking forward to reading this. The reviews are great too and I believe it's the first in a trilogy so if I like the first one that's good news for me because there are more books to enjoy. Then we have Ruthless Women by Melanie Blake and this contains some of my very favourite things, specifically rich people drama. I love some rich people drama especially when it has a lens of celebrity culture mixed in too and this book has that in space so it tells the story of a group of women who are on an island and um, so it's like this like closed environment kind of situation and they are all in the cast and crew of I think it's a reality TV show and like ratings are falling, things are happening behind the scenes, there's a lot of like conflict and drama between them all and I'm not sure if murders happen or if there's just another mystery to unravel but it just promises to be a really entertaining time which often is exactly what I'm looking for in the books that I read. In fact 99.999% of the time that's all I'm looking for so I think I'm really going to enjoy this. The next book that I currently have on loan from Kindle Unlimited is Her Last Hope by Louise Guy and this is a story about female friendship so I believe we have one woman who is dealing with the death of her husband and her next door neighbour who is dealing with like a very um, toxic relationship that she's no longer in and it's about their friendship and them supporting each other through these really difficult times and I think that they're um, like they end up having to work together to overcome like the return of the evil ex of the second woman that I mentioned or something like that but I think it's a little bit of what I'm looking for right now. I've really been seeking books that centre friendships, not just female friendships, but friendships in general. And I found it quite difficult to find something that fits the bill. Like there are plenty of books out there that talk about the breakdown of friendships and like toxic friendships. 
but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something more like feel good and hopeful on like in the sphere of friendships. So that's why I picked that one up. I've heard good things about this author's other books even though I've never read any of them but overall I'm optimistic that this one will be just what I'm looking for right now. The next book that I currently have on my Kindle is Like You Love Me by Adriana Locke and my understanding it is that this is kind of like a small town fake marriage of convenience kind of thing and I love both of those elements. I love anything that is set in a small town it just I don't know it does something to me and then I also love stories about like fake dating, marriage of convenience, anything like that. Um, so that's all I need to know like I don't need any other information to know that I want to read this book. I think it's the first in a series I'm not sure if it's a series that follow the same couple or if it's more like a series of interconnected standalones um, but I suppose I will find out. The next book on my list I know nothing about. So it's called Bright Side by Kim Holden and it's the first in a trilogy. But the reason I picked it up is because I was watching a video a while back and Larissa from Larry Reads was raving about it and she was like, you need to read this book. Like just if it's if there's one thing you take away from this channel, read this book, read this book, read this book. So I immediately picked it up when I saw it was on Kindle Unlimited and I'm kind of just wanting to dive in without any other information. Usually I do read the blurbs, like I'll read the synopsis so I know what I'm going into. But because she was just so enthusiastic, I think I might just go in blind and see what the experience is like. The next book on my list is The Singing Trees by Boo Walker. And this is a historical fiction. So I believe it's set in the late 60s in Maine and there was a young woman who has lost her parents. And she's moving to, I don't know if she's like going to stay with her grandma or live with her grandma or something like that. And like she's an artist, that's her passion, that's her dream. And the story is really one of like self-discovery and second chances and hope and love and all of the lovely things. And you know I love some historical fiction. It's probably my favourite genre. So when I saw the description of this, I knew I wanted to pick it up and I actually borrowed it. Um, right around the time that I finished Daisy Jones and the Six and I was just craving stories from that kind of era so hopefully it doesn't let me down. I actually haven't read any historical fiction from Kindle Unlimited yet, this will be my first one and I'm looking forward to it. Next we have A Little Bird by Wendy James and I think this one is more of a thriller so it tells the story of a journalist who is fleeing a uh, like very bad relationship and going home to her small town you know I love a small town story where she has to deal with some let's say like difficult family relationships and difficult memories and I think there's also like a something dark like some kind of mystery that comes up while she's there again I don't know too much about the plot the description is very short but it was enough to make me think do you know what I want to give that a go all it has to say, literally all it has to say in a synopsis is the word small town and I'm in. I'm just in. Then we have Weep Woman Weep by Maria de Blasi and this one really piqued my interest. I think it's a novella so it's quite short. Yeah it's 118 pages um, but it's described as a compelling gothic fairy tale written by a bruja. So that's speaking my language. So I think it's set in New Mexico and it's um, like a tragic gothic feminist story that really leans into like the esoteric so there's magical realism there and there's mystery and I just like the vibes are strong the cover's beautiful too and it's just it it's it's promising a lot of things that I usually love so I'm looking forward to diving into that one. Then we have Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover which is her newest release I believe and it's about a woman who just out of prison is trying to reconnect with her young daughter but um, like the family that is taking care of her daughter is very against this happening 
I know I'm going to enjoy it. I always enjoy reading Colleen Hoover. Her way of writing is very accessible, very compelling, very quick to get through. So I don't anticipate anything different from this one. Then we have The Night Swim by Megan Golden. I've heard very positive things about this. So I know, I mean, I, I've i started it. I've read the first couple of chapters and then I got distracted by a book club book. Um, but it is about a woman who has a true crime podcast and like the way that it's structured is that each season she um, tackles a particular mystery or like a cold case or something that were like something along those lines and investigates for herself podcasting as she goes and I think usually it's a cold case but this time and um, because she is trying to boost her rating she divide, decides to do something that is currently being tried so she is investigating the, a rape case I believe but while she's there, she starts getting these mysterious notes from um, somebody connected to a cold case from that same area. And uh, I haven't got very far into it yet, but it's very fast paced, very compelling, really enjoyable so far. And I can definitely see why people are loving it so much. Then we have Thin Ice by Cassie Mint, which is a romance. I believe it's centering around the world of ice skating. So after reading and adoring from Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata, which was also available on Kings Unlimited, by the way, um, I knew that I wanted to read this one. So I believe this is more of a love triangle story. So we have our um, female protagonist who was torn between her skating partner and her skating coach and I just the vibes are strong the vibes are strong like the ice skating world yes please um compelling love triangle also yes please I've heard like the smut is excellent yes please again yes please is all round thank you and good night another romance on the list now um worth waiting for by Jax Burroughs so I believe this is like a medical romance so it's a story between a trauma surgeon and a nurse again set in a small town so we have our main guy who moves back to his hometown or move I think yeah I think it's back to his hometown and gets a job at the hospital and reconnects with this woman who has haunted his dreams for the past four years. So they are getting their second chance and hopefully it will give me all the Grey's Anatomy vibes and I will just feel full of joy for months to come. And then we have The Magician's Lie by Graham McAllister. I'm not going to talk about this too much just because it is my current book club pick. So I'm currently reading it now and I don't want to give too much away I'll save that for a wrap up but this is like a historical fiction and at the very beginning we see this woman who is an illusionist do her stage act and one of the things that she does is with a man in the box she chops him in half it's very very bloody and gory and then boom he appears and he's fine and then in that very first chapter her husband's body is found killed in that very same way and so obviously she's the clear suspect because nobody can find her right away so she gets arrested and and that's like the setup of the story because she's in a jail cell telling the rest of the story so she's then like going back to her childhood and giving us her life story. The next book that I have borrowed from Kindle Unlimited is one that I'm really excited about because this one had actually been on my wish list for ages and then it got put on KU which is a great surprise but it's an American Covenant by Lucille Stock Scott and this is actually a non-fiction so it is telling the story of I think five different women who were associated with like magic and witchcraft but it's described as a scathing queer feminist history and a personal quest for transcendence which just sounds so exciting to me. Then we have The Mixtape by Brittany C. Cherry and this is a romance that has been recommended on a bunch of people's channels recently. Um, the one that sticks out in my mind is Brie from In Love and Other Words. I know that she really loves this book but I believe it is a love story that really has this underlying storyline of like grief and recovery and healing. So when I'm in that kind of mood where I need to just feel some feelings, this is the one that I'm going to pick up. 
And then last but not least, one that I actually just borrowed yesterday is Like Me by Hayley Phelan. So my understanding is that this is about a young woman who is obsessed with the idea of being an influencer. She wants to be a model, she wants to be famous. Like that is what consumes her every thought, but it's not going so well. So she starts getting fixated on this other influencer, this other like, Instagram model type of person who seems to be getting everything that she wants. Um, until something happens and our main character starts getting the results and things just start snowballing for her and then one day she just disappears and I believe this is like the unraveling of what happened to her but you see how you have access to so many different types of books the variety is amazing I've read some of my favourite books via Kindle Unlimited and I remember being really sceptical when I first signed up, but I'm so grateful that I did. I'm actually planning on doing like a year breakdown of my journey with Kindle Unlimited once I've been on there for a year, just so that I can track for myself like how much money I've saved and all of that good stuff, because I imagine that I will have made quite a killing because I have read so many books on there and so many great books on there. Um, but if you've enjoyed this video and if you enjoy sort of hearing an overview of what's good on Kindle Unlimited or what's currently available and worth a read, then pop me a comment below and I will like, add it to my list of ideas for this channel. Um, but I'm going to go now because I'm starting to lose my voice, but it's been lovely to spend a bit of time with you this afternoon. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload.